The slow economy is hurting big tourism spots, but a southern Indiana county finds its tourist business is doing just fine. Davies County officials say hotel and motel room rentals increased in August over last year. In fact, in the last decade, the county has seen the hospitality business almost double. News 10's Mike Grant has the story. The White River Valley Antique Association show brings people from all over the Midwest to Davies County. And that's good news for people in the hotel motel business. For the White River Valley Antique Show, uh, we do draw a fair amount of people. But folks are coming here for more than antiques. The Baymont was built a decade ago, and since then, room sales have reached $3.4 million annually. During a time when uh, gas prices are high and the economy's been kind of bad, our tourism has stayed consistent and, in fact, has went up a little bit. Local officials say there's a lot of reasons for their tourism success. Among them, one part targeted marketing, one part destination events, and one part spillover from other communities. We do get spillover from Vincennes. During the summer, Vincennes has the Cal Ripken Youth League, and we get three or four ball teams from there that stay here. Industry does make a, a huge difference. We're going to see an impact on our hotel rooms uh, from the Duke Energy plant that's being, being constructed because those workers have to have somewhere within driving distance to stay. Success for hotels also translates into customers for restaurants and gas stations. And with the big fall Amish horse sale set for later this month, the travel and tourism business expects yet another good boost. In Davies County, I'm Mike Grant, News 10. The White River Valley Antique Association show is this weekend in El Nora, while the Turkey Trot Festival is also bringing in crowds to the Ruritan Park in Montgomery.